two videos ago, we actually put the DJI Pocket 2 and Pocket 3 to the test with their normal unedited footage. In this video, we're going to be shooting them in both D-Log and Cine Lite to be able to see their highest quality in their most raw format. Of course, you can see up close, we have ND filters on both of these to be able to maintain both of them at a constant, con constant shutter speed. As well as the microphone function on the DJI Pocket 3 that is able to adjust the different directions. Let's see if all of this really make a quality difference in audio. Right behind me is actually Orchard Road, one of the more famous shopping districts in Singapore. And coincidentally, 3 years ago, I actually did test footages on the DJI Pocket 2 along this area. So, Alright, let's get started. Oh, I think I forgot to add the ND filter on top of the DJI Pocket 3. So here we go. Ah, Alright, so let's get started. I also need to mention that I'm setting both of these cameras onto their 5500 Kelvin to maintain their constant color temperature. In my previous video, I think the color fluctuated, so it's actually not very consistent with the comparison. As you can see, it's raining right now, but we are still going through with this. Uh, this is a test to be able to see if my skin is going to look a lot different from the DCD light and the D-Lock.
All right, I think it's time we test the glamour effect. The glamour effect of the DJI Pocket 3. Okay, this is on. And this is off. Okay, this is on. And this is off. Let's now do a test of the microphone. Okay, this is the audio with the microphone that is frontal. This is the microphone with the setting back and front. So this is probably the front. And this is the back. I know you can't see me but is the microphone clear? And this is with the audio that is omnidirectional which is the one that we've always been using. Let's now shoot the rest of the video in the back and front microphone instead. Okay, let's test their face tracking again. Okay, so this is their face tracking on. Okay, now both of them should be on. Okay, trying to detect my face. You can see that the DJI Pocket 3 wouldn't have any issue. But the Pocket 3 does have any issue, especially when I'm using my phone to cover my face. Okay, the DJI Pocket 2 keeps losing focus. I'm just going to put it at FPV mode. Okay, so it keeps me in focus. So yes, we are at the Orchard and behind me is Ion. Over here. Alright, so for the outro, let's just shoot with the DJI Pocket 3's wireless microphone. Okay, we are connected. So, how do you guys find the footage coming out from the Pocket 2 and the Pocket 3? Is it a lot more details in the Pocket 3 than Pocket 2? I mean, you're comparing with a 1-inch sensor versus a 1 over 1 7-inch sensor, which I think is quite significant. In my next video, I will cover 5 things I hate about the DJI Pocket 3. It's good and all, but there are some things which I'm not very comfortable with. If you are interested, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.